Andy Miles. In this video I'm going to show you how to measure the CD spectrum of Canvas Sulfonic Acid, or CSA. CSA has two large CD signals of known ellipticity in the UV which can be used to calibrate a CD instrument for magnitude and polarization. This ensures that protein spectra taken on your instrument are consistent with those taken elsewhere and with protein spectra in the data sets used for secondary structural analysis. We need a concentration of around 6 mix per mil. Um, CSA is hygroscopic so you, you need to weigh out slightly more than you require. So I'm going to weigh out 65 milligrams and dissolve it in 10 millilitres of millicube water. We calculate the concentration from the absorbance at 285 nanometers. I've already taken a baseline, so I'll load this uh, centimetre cubic with CSA. The absorbance at 285 nanometers is 0.897, and this gives a concentration of 6.02 mg per mil. Use a cell with a path length of 0.01 centimetres. I'm using a cylindrical demountable cell, but everything I say applies to rectangular cells. The manufacturer should supply the sample volume required, but it may be best to find the minimum you can use without introducing bubbles. Use reference marks on the cell halves to align them the same way each time the cell is assembled. This will ensure that any dichroism intrinsic to the cell is subtracted with the baseline. Find your own way of assembling the cell. I prefer to bring the edges together on one side and then lower the lid as if it were hinged. Align reference marks on the cell holder with the marks on the cell. This cell holder design is found at most SRCD beam lines. The Teflon washers prevent the cell from rotating when the lid is screwed down. Try not to screw it down too tightly or you'll distort the cell. OK, this is ready to load into the sample chamber. Make sure that the cell is adjacent to the detector so that we can capture as much scattered light as possible. Also make sure you have a mark on the cell holder to align the cell in the cell chamber. And close this up. And wait a couple of minutes for it to flash with nitrogen. Run the scan from 350 nanometers to 180 nanometers or 170 nanometers on SRCD instruments. Use a 1 nanometer step size and a dwell time or a scan speed appropriate to your instrument and take three repeat scans. The temperature must be 25 degrees bearing in mind that the magnitude of the CSA spectrum is temperature sensitive. The sample and baseline spectra should overlay in the regions indicated. I'm going to process the spectrum in CD tool. Select the raw sample files and toggle average. Toggle CD to remove the sample files or press Ctrl plus D to delete them. Repeat for the baseline files. Now select the average sample and then the average baseline and toggle subtract. Edit the headers. Date, concentration, path length and temperature are probably the most important data to record. Then save the file. 